Hi everyone, in this video, it will be a very simple and straightforward video. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can create mask effects using motion and tailwind. In this video, we are going to replicate this effect, which you see on GT 6s website. Basically, what we are trying to do is we are going to take this SVG, which is the GTA logo, and we are going to create a mask out of it. And you will see how you can do it with Tailwind and Framer Motion. Fairly simple. You will get to know a bit about bit or two about masks in general and how you can use it to you know, mask anything in the background or you know create something as sleek as this. So this website is built with GSAP and they have put in a lot of efforts. We are going to do a very minimal reproduction of it and I'll show you how to do it. Cool. So this is our blank slate. I'll go to the code editor really quickly. So this is what we have. We have a playground of 300 viewport height. First, what we want to do is we want to put in the background. Now I already have the background WebP here and the logo of mask. So this is the GTA logo that we have. Cool. So first thing first, what I want to do here is motion.div and what I want to do here is class name fixed insert zero zero h full w full and want to put a background of url background dot web p on bg fixed uh, bg cover so let's see if we have something we have this image right at the background which is really cool really pretty both are looking amazing Jaldi game aja, maza aja ga, but anyway next what we want to do is we want to align a mask on top of it now what is a mask we already have this gt look so I'll, I'll call it outer first outer image so that we have it next i want to have what i want to have is called a mask motion dot div and i'll call it fixed flex m auto width full h full insert zero this is what i want to have initially inside of it i want to have a mask image mask image would be a url and url will be mask dot svg i'm sorry if i'm going too fast but i really want to wrap this video because it's a really small video and i've talked about masks a lot in the past and i want to have mask repeat no repeat and mask size would be 40 pixels see if we see something not sure if we are going to but let's see let's say i have bg white let's see so you see at the top left hand corner you see right and mask size let's let's increase the mask size to 100 px so that you see it better and i also want to have a style attribute here mask size so let's say 100 px i want to remove it from here because ultimately we want to animate it and mask position would be center vertically and 100 px from top and bottom cool so now i see it here if i increase it to 1000 px you see it better so this is the image that you see now it is bg white now if i put bg white by 40 you'll see what i'm talking about this is not masking right now this is just plain background which you see over here what i eventually want to have is the image peeping through this the text that you see for that we are going to use a bit of framer motion and see how we can do it first let's fix this on screen Scroll, I want to increase the mask size and do some things. If I show you, so this is the outer background, right? If I have the same thing inside of this mask and if I, if I remove this BG white from here and put it here, nothing happens because the outer image is still there. Now, if I remove the outer image, you see the image inside of the mask is getting clipped. So there is some background, but you see the image inside of it now if i increase the mass size to let's say 8000 px you see you see the change so that is what we eventually want to animate and i'll do it step by step first what i want to do is i want to have a really black a uh, really big mask and i'll call it inner image and i'll comment it for now and i'll keep it bg white so that you can see it. now i have it once i scroll so cons scroll y progress is equal to use scroll you scroll import from framer motion and i want to call it const mask size would be use transform remember in the last videos we talked about if you want to change one motion value to another you'll have to use use transform that's exactly what we are going to do here once the scroll progress goes from zero to one we want it to go from thousand or maybe fourteen thousand to four hundred and that will be our mask size cool mask position would be count mask position similarly we'll do use transform from 0 to 1 it will be minus 1200 to 100 these are tested values i've already done it and if i put in mask position as is it's not going to work because this we need as center space pixels so what we are going to do is use motion template and then we are going to make it it is going to be center and then motion pixels 
You see how it goes. So once we scroll, it is going somewhere. It is going somewhere. It is going somewhere. That's not what we wanted. Mask position is somehow not working. Okay. This also we need in PX. So use motion template. Cool. Sometimes I do dumb fuckery. Cool. Once we scroll, you see perfectly animates, right? And we want to do something else as well. We want to have you spring outside, and I want to call it a uh, con spring bars. Stiffness. I want to do it damping 14. Let's see. You spring. I want to import from motion spring wash. Let's see. Let's see if we get some springy. Uh, it's too much springy, which will fix. But uh, I also want to have where is you spring. You spring. You spring. Now, I'm not explaining it in depth because that I've already done stiffness. And maybe I want to have 10, which is too much. 200 damping can be, let's say, 5. Make it smoother and not bouncier. Let's see what are the values. 120, let's see. Cool. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Straightforward. I like this. So now you have it. Now, what I also want to have is this inner image or the outer image with scale. So I want to call scale image scale would be use spring. Now first use transform bro. Use transform scroll Y progress 1.2 say one tuck will have or maybe 1.3. And I also want to have use spring outside just in case I wanted to have prettier animation. So tile would be scale would be image scale. Cool. So it is already scaled in a bit. If I so, so you see it is scaling out. Once I scroll, it is scaling out. Cool. That is nice. Instead of BG white, I want BG black. So this is there. Also, I want to have this, which I would want to const outer image opacity. Use transform scroll Y progress would be 0 0.2. 0. So once the scroll Y progress goes from 0 to 0 0.2, I want to vanish this image opacity would be outer opacity so you know what i'm talking about so once i scroll you see this you see this exactly what i wanted now i don't want this bg white and instead i want to have this inside image going on now you'll see what i'm talking about also i want to have a scale right here because the images are distorted for now scale would be image scale cool so now images are aligned scale and you see the images are taken in super nice Super cool. It's a bit jittery somehow, which I don't want. Maybe I don't want spring animations everywhere. Maybe I don't want it here. And maybe image scale, I don't want it to be a spring animation. That's a lot of animations. Maybe I don't want to have spring animations at all. But you know, the important thing is that you're learning about masks, which is very cool. In this case, looks really good. So once you have this, I think we also wanted to drill down the image opacity here. So what I'll do is motion.div class name would be again fixed bg white h full bg white. And we want to have an opacity here and I'll call it white fill opacity would be use transform scroll by progress. When it goes from 0 0.8 to 1, I want it to be extremely, extremely white. So we'll call it opacity would be white fill opacity. Cool. So now once I scroll, you'll see. Maybe I don't want these spring animations and maybe the damping is too I always have to play with spring animations. 20 is fine. Stiffness can be 120. I mean, let's see. I don't know. We'll have to play with these values, but yeah, eventually get the point. So yeah, once I scroll, you see. Happens like that. Cool. It was nice. Cool. So that's how you use masks. Essentially, this mask, this this Grand Theft Auto logo is acting as a mask and any SVG element can act as a mask until and unless you want to show inside of it. What are the so these even if you have a video playing inside of it, that will work as a mask. For example, uh, if I pull in a video and I start auto playing it here, it will start playing and the text would be you know covering it up. So 
yeah again if you want to mask anything with svgs that's how you do it i hope you learned something from this video this was a really basic explanation of how you can use masks gta's website is pretty cool they put in a lot of efforts i've just produced minimal reproduction here so that you can know how masks work in general if you like this video do hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one till then keep coding and i'll see you in the next one do a lot of coding work a lot on your masking skills do not forget to watch my motion playlist which is already there new merch coming soon stay tuned